in the recent years, most of the Hollywood movies that you've been watching, they said their pictures are standard and they are, their pictures are gold. These people plan, they plan before they go to set. They don't just uh, come out and say, we are going to set. No, they plan a lot. They invest a lot into production. And that's the reason why most of the Hollywood movies, I'm not saying most, every movie that comes from Hollywood is standard. And when you are watching, uh, you feel a sense of interest, a sense of enthusiasm that let me sit down and watch the movie. That's the reason why most of the Hollywood movies, we have been watching and watching and watching, especially Indian movies, Bollywood. You cannot stop watching. Why? Because the content is very huge and very heavy. Comparing these techniques into our Ghanaian movies, we can see that most of the Ghanaian producers, I can say 80%, don't go for cinema cameras. And that is the reason why their content are not huge and are not standard. Hi. Welcome to my channel. My name is Krobia. I'm a filmmaker and a pastor as well. Uh, and I'm very glad that you are here watching this very video. Today we are going to talk about movies. Comparing Ghanaian movies to Nigerian movies is something that I think we have to talk about. As we can see when we compare Ghanaian movies to Nigerian, we can see that the Nigerians are bringing massively well the nigerians are moving higher in terms of filmmaking when you compare to Ghanaians. why because most of the nigerians invest a lot into production but some of the Ghanaians movies that we have been watching them on youtube and all the social media platforms i sometimes have a lot of questions about how some of the producers that we have in Ghana come out with such content. You know, we are here to make Ghanaian movies stand out. We are here to make Ghanaian movies look good, look standard in international level. And uh, when, you, when you send the movies to some of the film festivals, they may be able to accept the content and show it. So that's the reason why I'm here today to talk a lot about Kenyan movies. So uh, for the first time, I saw so many things in Ghanaian movies. I have a question for myself that why are we still repeating such mistakes? Because I thought most of the directors and most of the producers that we have in Ghana, we have most of them learned a lot. Most of them learned a lot. And I can say that we have so many educated people in our filmmaking industry. But why we still have some of the problems that we are facing that doesn't uh, guarantee some of our movies look standard. Recently, there was a movie that was premiered in Accra and at the same time, they premiered the same movies in Kumasi. And the title of the movie is A Country Called Ghana. And this movie was um, produced by Kodun Kansalewen. And he, when you open your YouTube, you can see that so many people are talking a lot about this movie. They said the picture quality is down, it's not good, sound quality is not good. And when there was a lot of um, reactions about this particular movie, the editors went back to editing bench and they edit the movie. They came out with good quality pictures, contrast. They add a lot of uh, colors to the pictures. And I think when you compare the first trailer to the second trailer, you can see that the first trailer was a little bit not good at all. But when you compare the second one, you can see that the second trailer look very outstanding as i'm showing to you right now you can see that the first trailer that they did the colors are moody it is not they don't have contrast in the colors and the colors are too moody so that is how when we are comparing movies that we have in 
our country Ghana, you're supposed to at least consider how most of the producers invest into film production. And after the, after they, they are done with the movies, how are these movies going to stand out when you compare to international level standard? So I'm here as a filmmaker in Ghana to talk a lot about our movies so that most of the producers out there may be able to know how best they can manage their movies. Because when we are talking about movies, comparing Nigerians and Ghanaian movies, you can see that Nigerians, they invest a lot into their movies. So that's the reason why some of the movies look so standard. And they have everything on point. But when you compare those movies to Ghanaian movies, what are we seeing now? It's like most of the Ghanaian, Ghanaian producers and directors, and even especially most of the Ghanaian filmmakers don't care about the, 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 the production work, the pre-production, how did they do the pre-production, the post-production, how did they do the post-production. We are here to make Ghana proud. And that's the reason why we've called ourselves a filmmaker. So once we are talking about films, I know that I'm not here to um, destroy somebody's potential. I'm here to talk about something that we can work on. Because if the films come out, people will go and talk about it, and they're going to say that which country produced this movie, and they're going to point out Ghana. So that is the reason why I'm a Ghanaian, and uh, I'm a filmmaker in Ghana, as well as a director, editor, and uh, cinematographer. So I'm here fully packed that I'm here to correct some of the mistakes that we are repeating when it comes to filmmaking or producing quality movies. What is a quality movie? A quality movie is a movie that is standard in all levels. That is standard in all levels. You cannot call a movie a, stand, uh, a, a quality movie unless the movie reach that maximum standard that every uh, marketer or every platforms like Netflix looking for. Even Netflix has a specification for a camera that they use. So if you are marketing a movie to Netflix platform or you are sending your movies to the Netflix platform, they have a specified cameras that you're supposed to use. And you cannot send your movie back to Netflix without following the required standard cameras. So the first thing that I will talk about when we are talking about Ghanaian movies is camera, camera, camera gear or equipment. And the first thing I will talk about is camera, camera. When you watch some of the YouTube videos from Nigerian producers like Ruth Kadre 24-7, if you watch most of her previous movies, you can see that she has been upgraded. She has been upgraded. She's supposed to come out with good content so that that content can attract attention of people. Camera is one of the best things that every filmmaker is supposed to consider. Because if you don't consider the camera that you're using, you may end up coming out with poor content or poor outcome. So that is the reason why most of the Nigerians, they are excelling in the film industry when you compare to Ghanaian's film industry. And I can say that most of the Ghanaian stars, movie stars, like Kumewu stars, they have started producing movies on YouTube, like Emilia Brobe, Nanama, Mac Brown, uh, Tracy Boache, Atre Brewer, and most of the, uh, the, the young, talented people out there. But how can these people produce good and standard movies? The first thing I would like to talk about is camera quality pictures. In the recent years, some of the Ghanaian movies that we have been watching in, let's say, and 10 years ago, five years ago, you can see that the camera is very poor. 
the camera they don't use quality cameras they don't use cameras that can uh, help the production they go out there and rent 60d 70d 80d those cameras are not cinema cameras when we are talking about cameras i just want to explain in depth because this video will maybe a lot a very long video but i will come out with part two listen to me carefully when you want to produce quality movies you're supposed to know the camera that you're gonna use so we have cinema cameras we have cinema lenses and we have digital cameras and digital lenses when, I, when we are talking about digital lenses like dsl like digital single lens reflex those cameras are used for pictures or if you wanted to do a, a, some um short video which is not a movie we are talking about movie right here if you wanted to do some a short project like you wanted to take a coverage and you need a camera you don't want to use your phone you can go for single uh digital single lens reflex cameras like dslr like canon 60d 70d 80d um and um those cameras but if you wanted to produce movie my friend you're supposed to go for cinema cameras and in the recent years most of the hollywood movies that we've been watching they said their pictures are standard and they are their pictures are gold these people plan they plan before they go to set they don't just uh come out and say we are going to say no they plan a lot they invest a lot into production and that's the reason why most of the Hollywood movies, I'm not saying most, every movie that comes from Hollywood is standard. And when you are watching, uh, you feel a sense of interest, a sense of enthusiasm that let me sit down and watch the movie. That's the reason why most of the Hollywood movies, we have been watching and watching and watching, especially Indian movies, Bollywood. You cannot stop watching. Why? Because the content is very huge and very heavy. Comparing this techniques into our Ghanaian movies, we can see that most of the Ghanaian producers, I can say 80%, don't go for cinema cameras. And that is the reason why their content are not huge and are not standard. So we have cinema cameras like um, Blackmagic 4K camera. It's very cheap. You can buy like less than, uh, let's say, uh, 10,000 Ghana CDs. 